guys and welcome back to my channel. Gosh, that was such a high, high-pitched hey. Hey guys. Does anyone ever listen to their voice back and think you sound like a total man? Because I feel like listening to my voice back, I sound way different than I actually sound. So now we've talked about my voice, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all well. I know you guys enjoy my Zara hauls, at least I hope you do. So I thought I'd do another Zara haul today. This one is simply just Zara. So let's sit down, grab a cup of tea, coffee, wine, whatever you want to grab, orange juice, and let's just chat about Zara. I am really impressed with Zara at the moment. As you guys know, if you are a regular, I am very hit and miss with Zara. I think the quality can be a bit, mm, but I do think they ship things really quickly to me, and I like that they pick it up with a courier service, so I think that's good. But at the moment, the stuff on their website is really nice, so I have been placing lots of Zara orders and ending up keeping most of it, so I think this should be a good one. Let's have a look at what's inside. So if you guys are new to my hauls, the way that this works is I go and then we go over there and I try them on. So I'm going to hold the stuff up, talk about it, and then you can actually see it on. It's kind of a new addition to my hauls and I like it because I don't just want to stand there with music. I want to actually tell you guys how it fits, how it feels, and I hope that that will help you guys out. So let's look inside the boxes. Okay, let's start with some stripes. Shock, horror, Emma has bought stripes. I love reading your comments and all of your comments are always like, really disappointed if there's no stripes in a haul. So I'm trying to make sure I'm buying more striped stuff because it's very me to have stripes. Although this has been labelled wrong. It says Zara accessories on it. This is definitely not a pair of shoes or a handbag. This is a really nice, comfortable jumpsuit. May I add, this is definitely a jumpsuit that I do not need because I have the nicest striped jumpsuit already that I wear a lot. If you guys have me on Instagram, I'm sure you see me obsess over my striped jumpsuit that I already own. But shock, and went and bought another one. I just think this is cute. It's nice and linen. It's like linen material, tie string front which I love because you can kind of like hug it in if you want and then when you have pizza you can just let it come out. So let's try this on and see how this looks. Okay guys, I am very see-through and this is not a jumpsuit, this is a dress. How can I be so silly when I place the order? Was I drunk? I don't know. Um, I actually quite like the dress. It's very linen-y, it's not too tight but it's still kind of hugs but it is very see-through. I think this is probably designed to be worn on the beach over a bikini. I have a stick-on bra on and without it, well, this would be classed as pornography because you would just see my nipples. Well, free the nip, you know, maybe not pornography. I like that you can tie it, I think it looks really nice with like it tightened but it is very see-through so I wouldn't ever really be able to wear this on a day-to-day -day basis unless going commando and having my nipples out. Next up, we've got, ooh, what is it? It's like a, a gown, it's very heavy. Dun, 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 is it a wedding dress? No, it's not a wedding dress. It's a really nice lace dress, TRF. Does anyone else really like TRF from Zara? Because I think it's so affordable. When I'm on the Zara website, top tip, always head over to TRF and click special price and then click TRF. Everything in the TRF section is a lot more affordable. I always sit there like, I can't believe how affordable this is. So this is a really nice kind of bohemian style, free people style boho dress. I am either going to look like a god or I'm going to look like a goddess. Let's try it on and see. So I really want to make this kind of bohemian style happen for me, but I feel like I look a bit like a maid. No disrespect to maids because you look fab, but I just feel like it's maybe a little bit frumpy on me. Maybe a bit Florence Nightingale, who I actually really liked, by the way, when I learned about her in history but do you know what I mean I just don't feel like it's very flattering for like a day-to-day -day basis um I really want to make it work it's like a beachy dress it's like a cute boho dress I also have the biggest back in the world so I need someone to fasten this up for me um but it's nice how it's open at the back and I think the lace detailing is nice love the little bow maybe I'm just a bit too small I'm only like five foot two and I just feel a bit I don't know a bit frumpy I feel like I'm dressing 60 years too old for myself I'm only a baby <laughs> what next what next oh my gosh more stripes shock horror. Ooh, this is nice. So the reason I ordered this and I actually sized up is because I want to wear this as a dress, but it's definitely not going to be a dress unless my bum is out and we don't really want that. I really like the colour. I like the stripes. I think with little shorts or maybe trousers, this could look cute, but please Zara, do this in dress format. I love that it's got a little bit around the waist and again, you can pull it in and it's a really nice silky material, kind of like a bed shirt. Let's try it on. 
I expected to hate it, but I actually kind of like it. So I like the stripes, I like that it feels like a kind of satin pyjama shirt, and I love that you can tighten it here, obviously making room for that pizza. I've actually popped it with some wide leg trousers because I think it's nice that it kind of comes in and then goes out. But you could wear it with skinny jeans, you could wear it with denim shorts, and I think you can dress it up or play it down. You could wear it over a bikini, you could wear it for like an evening kind of look as I styled it. I just think it's nice. There's definitely an influx of kind of pyjama style satiny shirts at the moment on the market and I don't know usually I find this stuff a bit too ruffly for me I feel a bit like a duck but I kind of like it right now what do you guys think you could absolutely hate this it's hard there's no mirror in front of me but when I did look in the mirror unless it was lying to me I thought it was quite nice guys we are getting through this how many cups of coffee are you on so some khaki khaki is a color that I never really thought suited me but then when I try it on I actually quite like it okay bear with me guys because I don't actually like all of the sparkle but it looked really nice on the website. I feel like Zara is hit and miss. Sometimes stuff looks epic on the website and you're like, yes, add to basket, add to basket, quantity five. And sometimes you're like, hmm, I just can't tell. And this did actually look nice on the website. It just doesn't look that nice in real life. So let's try this on and see how it looks. I'm going for those kind of cargo vibes. The khaki number. So I think this is a sassy take on a skater dress. Did I really just call a dress sassy? Yes, I did. It's the glitter, that glow up. But yeah, I think it's kind of cute, but it's probably not for me. I think it's nice because it's nice to kind of have bare legs with it. You could probably even wear it with jeans if you're not someone that likes to have your legs out. I wish it had a bit of a drawstring here to tighten it. I think that would be cute. Cute. Again, shock. M said cute again. I take a shot every time I say cute. I feel like this needs to be the M drinking game. But I think it's easy and so just casual to wear but you could dress it up. But I wouldn't say it's my favourite. I feel like you could get a lot better for the money. What are we going for next? What's in Pandora's box? Oh my god, I am so excited about this. A little boho skirt. You guys can tell I'm kind of going for a boho theme. Don't know what's wrong with Zara at the moment with all of these like sparkles. Talk about making things a bit Christmassy. It's a bit edgy, isn't it? But I love this. It's just a really nice sheared. Is that how you say it? Like sheared? I know how to spell it, but I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm so bad at talking. And um, just a little boho skirt. So let's just try this on and see how it looks. So this is cute, isn't it? I feel like I should be ready to dance and be a little bit boho. I really like boho things, and as you guys are probably aware of by now, and it's just really lightweight, really easy to wear. You could kind of dress it up, wear it with some sandals, and I like that. There are so many things out at the moment like this, and I feel like a lot of shops like Zara are copying off kind of Chloe and more expensive brands, and I like that, because how much even was this? Let me check, wait. I wanna know how much this was. 29.99, okay, that's really not cheap. I was hoping it was like 15 pounds. I think Bershka do really good affordable skirts like this as well but I'm all about kind of nice floaty things that don't cost like £500 for a skirt that's just made out of a little bit of cotton. The last one in this box but we do have another box with something really exciting in which I'm saving for last. Oh my goodness, is this a haul with three striped items? Yes it is. I'm sorry guys, I actually don't usually go this overboard on the stripes. <gasps> How beautiful is this? So this one actually is a dress, a shirt dress in stripes and it's red. What more could I want? Love the buttons. Feels so lightweight, perfect for summer. So let's just go and try this on. Is she wearing pyjamas? Is she wearing her boyfriend's shirt? Who knows? I feel like it's really nice but it's very, very short. To say I'm small, I feel like this is very short. One move in the wrong direction or one bit of wind and wow, you're gonna see the vagina. Um, I think it's lovely. I love the colours. I love the fact that the stripes are kind of medium stripes. They're not too thin they're not too thick, so lightweight, so easy to wear, but I would have to say this is definitely more of a beachy vibe number than worn with kind of heels and stuff because it is just too short. I mean, if you're a tall person, you're just not gonna be able to get away with it. And I find that sizing up in things, like I sized up in this, it doesn't actually usually alter the length, it usually just alters kind of everything else. So you could try sizing up, but I feel like I need to size up 15 times to see if this is gonna make a difference on the knee. This was sold as a dress. Maybe I'm totally wrong, maybe it was a shirt, but I think this was sold as a dress. I think this is probably more something to be worn with jeans or on the beach. But I love the colour and I love the print and I love everything about it apart from I just have to like walk around like this or wear shorts underneath it. Finally, drum roll please. Okay, I'm really excited about these shoes because they've sold out everywhere. In fact, they've been sold out on Zara for so, so, so long. 
and I wanted the Chanel version but let's be honest when there's a dupe you don't really need to buy the designer version. I do really love designer stuff but then I saw these and I was like oh yes they even came in a separate box because I think they'd sold out and Zara had to go and get them. They were like hmm she really needs these. So here they are. Leather they were. How much were they? £50. I don't think there's any sizes left at the moment but I will link them if there are. And look at them they're basically like the dupes of the Chanel's that everyone has. I just think they're going to be so easy to wear so classy so I will try these on. Just thought I would sit down to quickly talk about the shoes. So I actually like them. I feel like they need to stretch because I feel as if my heel is slightly coming over the back, which is weird because I've been in the same shoe size for as long as I can remember. So I don't really know. Maybe they're a bit small fitting. My issue is I bought some similar ones from Zara and they absolutely killed my feet. Quite a few girls messaged me on Instagram and said the same thing. They were really comfy for the first few days and I'd walked everywhere in them and so had the other girls. And then literally out of nowhere, they just like murdered my my feet and this is why I have blisters all over my feet I mean I have the ugliest feet in the world anyway but I literally had blisters like bleeding all over from these kind of shoes so I am a little bit worried that these might even though they're open at the back I don't know what they'll be like at the front so maybe I need to walk around the house first love the thickness of the heel I think it's really classy and nice ignore my blisters love that they're quite breathable but I think I just need to stretch them a little bit so there we have it guys, drowning in clothes. I really hope you liked this Zara haul. Everything mentioned will be linked below as always. Thank you for watching, you guys are the best. Please do leave a comment below if you've got any ideas of what you'd like me to film, whether it's a personal topic, whether it's just a vlog, I don't know, whether it's a try on a haul, do leave comments and suggestions. I love chatting to you guys in the comments. Come say hey on Instagram and Twitter at mshellx. Love having you guys and thank you for watching, bye.